When you start with one sense, you, you want to have more. And that's what cyborgism gives me. It gives me ability to go beyond my five senses. Mohsen Minai is a geophysicist. He's also a cyborg. Cyborgism is just like a human being with uh, additional ability that he has gained through technology. Carry small things like paper clip. The first thing I put in my body was a chip. I put it here and uh, it gives the temperature of my body. But it's this little device on his chest attached with piercings that Mosin is most excited about right now. It's a small chip on my chest that vibrates whenever I face north. It's called North Sense, and about 300 people around the world have one. That simple buzz is, uh, it's, is the magic. That's Levu Babbitts. He invented it. He also wears one. Every time I, I uh, turn north, maybe you can hear it. You could call him a body hacker. These are people who use technology, things like microchips, magnets, or batteries, to enhance themselves by embedding it in their bodies. Like this employee at a company where people have chip implants that can unlock doors and start the copy machine. But Levy says North Sense is something different. Knowing which way is north all the time is a nice enhancement. But that's not the point here. He believes adding an extra sense to the body will change how the brain works. The North Sense creates in the brain in what we would call new pathways. So instead of my reality being built from X number of elements, now it's X plus one number of elements that I understand reality by. And there's precedent for this. The brain is amazing, it's plastic. That's Adrian Payarsh, and he's a neuroscientist at McGill University. He says the brain has an amazing way of molding itself to new experiences. And to understand this, he points to a 2011 study of London cab drivers. To drive one of the city's famous black taxis, drivers have to memorize 25,000 streets. It's a notoriously difficult task. And according to this study, it actually changed their brains. So they tested these subjects in MRI, and yes, indeed, their uh, hippocampus is bigger because they've trained again and again, and this is what they do every day, to navigate in this big city, and the hippocampus actually just gets bigger because it needs more connection. It's, it's working more. Adrian thinks North Sense could change the brain too. Do we have any other paths here? Perhaps with NorSense, you'll actually become more aware of how you can navigate by yourself without any external help. Doing this will be a good training for your brain. The more you use your brain, very generally, the later neurodegenerative disease will start. It's too early to know how NorthSense is changing the brains of users. So Levy is working with researchers at three London universities to first learn how wearing North Sense can begin to change behavior. So you click on that and There's even a simple uh, test they came up with and tried it on Levy, who's been wearing his for a year and a half. They blindfolded Levy and then spun him around. We would ask him to return to the point of origin. And that point of origin wasn't always North either. This was quite astonishing to see how accurately he could always return to the point of origin. And we tested this with a number of non-North Sense users and they all were totally useless. They hope to run the test on more North Sense users to see if it's really helping their sense of direction. For Mosin, he says he feels effects that can't be quantified. I have started learning piano the keyboard is in the, in the room, and it's towards north, actually. And whenever I start playing in some chords, like C chords, I try to move my body so north sense vibrates. It has added another layer of information to piano playing. It's very beautiful, actually. It makes you want to see more. It makes you want to know more. <laughs>